Hello, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of May the 19th up until May the 26th. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Capricorns. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any guidance and messages that my Capricorns are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Capricorn this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And if you are interested in watching the extended reading, that's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions and moves and more, then go ahead and check the extended link, which is in the description box below. You can also watch the preview by visiting GinaMoon.com. And don't forget to stay till the end because we will be answering one of your questions. You will get a yes or no answer. Okay, so start thinking about what question you want to ask. All right, Capricorn, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the Dremel. Wow, the Hierophant. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Taurus, does not have to be, but look at you. You are definitely trusting in the unknown. See how this beautiful Hierophant is, you know, here with his eyes closed, it's sort of like you're taking the time to reflect, okay? You're taking the time to trust in yourself, in your inner being. I do sense that you are becoming a lot more spiritual. I do sense that you have grown a lot spiritually from your life lessons, and you're feeling a lot more at peace, at least this week. You're going to have a lot of peace, a lot of serenity. You're going to feel loved. You're going to feel comforted, not only by yourself, you giving yourself more attention, you know, but also by being devoted to something that is actually giving back to you. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on here. Okay, so somebody here is still feeling a little bit stuck, whether this is you or the other person. There is one person who is sitting here in the Eight of Swords energy. You know, the Eight of Swords represents this woman here who feels like she's stuck. She feels like she's tied up, whether this is you or the other person, but she's really not, you know. Wow, look at this. You are turning up the Wheel of Fortune, everything working out in your favor. The universe, God, source energy, having everything here under control. So don't worry. If you have been experiencing something that has made you feel like you're a little bit stuck, no worries. Be happy because you have here the wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. Whatever it is that you've been waiting on, information to come in, it's going to give you good news. Okay, so good news coming in your way with a lot of stability. You are here standing in your power, in your strength, Capricorn, knowing your worth and knowing your value. This is absolutely beautiful. I do see here that somebody is thinking about you. Okay, there's somebody here who's thinking about you. They're trying to take responsibility for their actions at this time and they're trying to kind of like plan something to kind of communicate with you. They're still kind of like in this energy where perhaps are haunted by their past actions. And, you know, there's like this energy where this person just has not been able to forget you. They haven't forgotten about you. They really think about you all the time. And it's sort of like this energy where right now this person might be feeling a little bit safer in the silence. I feel like that might actually be you. You're not really communicating too much with this person, but you will be gaining the clarity, the knowledge here. You're turning up the Ace of Swords. Aces are such powerful energy. Okay, here with the Ace of Swords, there's a lot of communication that's going to come in, a lot of information. So this is just telling you wait for important information to come in. It is going to come in. I do see here that you want to make some kind of a decision. There's somebody here who has the energy of having one foot in and one foot out, not knowing what to decide. But don't worry, the clarity will come in this week. Okay, you might also be dealing with a fire sign, does not have to be, but there is a lot of co-creative energy here. Okay, a lot of like energy here flowing in your direction where it's it's going to help you move beyond what you have already built. Okay. It's going to help you help you build more upon what you have already kind of like um, built upon, whether this is a career related situation, whether this is job, whether this is family, whatever it is, this is basically completing a, a, a cycle. After gaining a lot of knowledge, a lot of understanding, you will find the solution to this thing that you have been focused on. Okay. So there is a lot of pure positive energy here. Now let's go ahead and see what this Hierophant is all about. What is this Hierophant for Capricorn? What is this Hierophant here? 
All right, that one just wanted to flip out. Wow, the lovers, you guys. Oh my God, somebody here wants to offer you a gesture of love. Somebody here has a lot of romantic feelings for you. They have a lot of passion for you. However, they see that you are a little bit undecided, okay? There is this kind of energy where maybe you communicate with them sometimes, but then sometimes you kind of don't. And so this person is, it's like they're going crazy. They wanna know more about you. They wanna know if you like them. They wanna like let you know that they like you. There is a lot more that is going on in this person's environment that is affecting them, okay? What whether this is you or them, they, it's like this connection still affects this person. This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. This is basically a divinely guided union with the lovers here. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini, does not have to be, but this person wants to offer you their heart. They want to offer you their love. They might be coming across as a little bit kind of like, um, kind of like, you know, just kind of cute, you know, like that phase one type of energy where you flirt with one another, where you start kind of getting to know one another. This might actually be career related. Maybe somebody here who wants to offer you an opportunity a higher up level of situation, something like that, you know, but somebody here has a lot of passion for you. I mean, this is a lot of passion, a lot of, a lot of chemistry between both you and this person. We're going to touch on the extended reading to see who this person is, because we are turning up here, the wheel of fortune right underneath you. Okay. So everything will be working out in your favor. Let's go ahead and see what this wheel of fortune is for Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow. So a lot of feeling loved, comforted. Somebody here wants to make you feel loved, wants to make you feel comforted. They want to offer you, look at this, the 10 of cups. I mean, gosh, Capricorn, your life is about to change and transform. Somebody here who may have walked away, or maybe you walked away from this person, this person feels like it was an empty victory. They don't feel good about what happened between both of you guys. And there is this kind of moment that will come into this week where it's going to ask you to rebuild or build upon something. Okay. Release old structures. And if you change your mind, then honor that. If you want to change your mind about this person, then go ahead and honor that. If you want to give this person another opportunity, then go ahead and honor that. It is basically your decision because you are here standing in your power, in your strength. You know your worth and you know your value, okay? But I do sense that this person is coming in with renewed energy because you are, it's sort of like this energy where both of you guys are reflecting the same level of maturity after having gone through something, you know, of a conflict or something like that, which created growth and change between you and this person. So there is a 10 of cups here. This is basically a divinely guided union with a lot of, um, with a lot of like emotions, you know, this person has an emotional bond with you. There is this kind of energy where they want to start enjoying um, life with you more, that growth, reaping the rewards together, that type of deal, okay? I do sense that here with the five of pentacles, you know, maybe something here happened between both of you and this person that led to growth, okay? And this growth is leading to changing this the circumstances, whether you want someone absolutely brand new, or if you want this person with renewed energy, take it as it resonates, whatever it is. But I do see here that you are building on yourself. You're building on your future. You're paying more attention to yourself. You're loving yourself more. This is absolutely beautiful. So someone will be making you fully aware of basically the vital role that you play in their lives. Absolutely beautiful. All right, Capricorn, go ahead and ask your question. We're going to get a yes or no answer. So is this a yes or no for Capricorn? Is this a yes or a no for Capricorn? Ready, Capricorn? All right, let's see what we have here. That is a yes. Wow, somebody here wants to pursue you or you are ready to pursue something that you are focused on something that makes you feel alive again. Okay. Some, something here basically is saying, yes, 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 go for it. This is victory on the horizon. Okay. So your life is about to change. Your life is about to transform. You're going to start enjoying the growth the basically reaping your rewards, feeling more love, feeling more appreciated, feeling more surrounded by people who support you. Okay. Basking in the joy and the light that you have created for yourself. This is absolutely beautiful. So that is a definite yes. Let's go ahead and roll the dice for you. Let's roll the dice for Capricorn. See what other messages we get. Okay, Capricorn, we do have here the sign of Leo. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Leo and that one flipped, but I saw number one and also number one, which is also here. Let's see. I saw number one. Okay, so here, number one and the sign of Leo. So this week it's telling you, let's start off with Leo, to embrace more of that lion energy, you know, the the, the Leo energy, just kind of like being in the limelight, appreciating, appreciating yourself. Leos are very, very, uh, they love themselves a lot. You know, they work on paying attention to themselves, their own needs. So this is the week for you to start rewarding yourself, to start paying attention to your own needs, okay? Maybe if you've already done a lot for other people, it's time for you to shift that energy onto your 
yourself. Be in the limelight. Surround yourself with positive people, with positive influences. And learn how to appreciate that attention that comes in, okay? Because it wants to come in. I do sense that maybe if you guys are the shy type, don't be shy this week. This is the week for you to really, you know, kind of like expose yourself out into the public. This is going to serve you in your favor. And look at this, none other than number one. You have to feel like you are number one this week because you are, okay? This is brand new beginnings, unity, love, relationships, duality, balance. This is a lot of creative energy. This is beautiful, beautiful energies. You might actually be seeing a lot of one, 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 which is confirmation that everything here is working out in your favor because guess what? You're turning up the wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. Wait for information. A lot of information is going to come in for you. All right, let's go ahead and get a mantra message for you guys. One mantra message for my beautiful Capricorns. What is the mantra message for Capricorn this week? Let's see. Here we go. All that I seek is already within me. Okay, so you are worthy of whatever it is that you desire. It's already within you. It's time for you to either pursue that passion, pursue that thing. It's ready for you. Okay, you don't have to get ready. You don't have to study it more. You are ready for it. All that I seek is already within me. Repeat that in the morning 10 times. Repeat that to yourself at night before you go to bed and you are going to reap these rewards. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, this is what I have for you this week. If you are interested in watching the extended reading that's where we dive deeper into this other person's subconsciousness their deeper thoughts about you their deeper feelings for you their next actions and moves and go ahead and check out the description box below the link to the extended is down there and also visit ginamoon.com if you want to see a preview of that extended reading and also don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell because it really helps me and the algorithm so that i can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform all right guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the extended. Bye-bye. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.